The 2013 Philippine House of Representatives elections were the 33rd lower house elections in the Philippines. They were held on May 13, 2013 to elect members to the House of Representatives of the Philippines that would serve in the 16th Congress of the Philippines from June 30, 2013 to June 30, 2016. The Philippines uses parallel voting for the House of Representatives, first past the post on 234 single-member districts, and via closed party lists on a 2% election threshold, computed via a modified hair quota, 3-seat cap and no remainders, on 58 seats, with parties with less than 1% of the first preference vote winning one seat each if 20% of the party list seats are not filled up. Major parties are not allowed to participate in the party list election. While the concurrent Senate election features the two major coalitions in Team PNOY and the United Nationalist Alliance UNA, the constituent parties of the coalitions contested the lower house election separately, and in some districts, candidates from the same coalition in the Senate are contesting a single seat. Campaigns for the House of Representatives are done on a district-by-district -district basis, there is no national campaign conducted by the parties. No matter the election result, the party of the president usually controls the House of Representatives, via a grand coalition of almost all parties. Only the ruling Liberal Party can win a majority, as it is the only party to put up candidates in a majority of seats. After release of preliminary results, the Liberal Party emerged as the largest party in the chamber. Its coalition partners also held most of their seats. Incumbent Speaker Feliciano Belmonte Jr. is expected to be easily re-elected as the Speaker of the 16th Congress. Electoral system The election for seats in the House of Representatives is done via parallel voting. A voter has two votes, one for one's local district, and another via the party list system. A candidate is not allowed to stand for both ballots, and parties participating in the district elections would have to ask for permission on the Commission on Elections, with major parties not allowed to participate in the party list election. Election via the districts Each district sends one representative to the House of Representatives, with the winner with the highest number of votes winning that district's seat. The representatives from the districts comprise at most 80% of the seats. Election via the party list system In the party list system, the parties contesting the election represent a sector, or several sectors, or an ethnic group. In determining the winners, the entire country is treated as one district. Each party that surpasses the 2% election threshold automatically wins one seat, they can win an additional number of seats in proportion to the number of votes they receive, but they can't have more than three seats. The representatives elected via the party list system, also known as sectoral representatives, should comprise at least 20% of the seats. However, since the winners from the parties that surpass the 2% threshold had not reached the 20% quota ever since the party list system was instituted, the parties that received less than 1% of the first preference vote are given one seat each until the 20% quota has been filled up. Campaigning The parties contesting the district elections campaign at the district level, there is no national level campaigning. While no party has been able to win a majority of seats in the House of Representatives since the 1987 elections, the party of the incumbent president had usually controlled the chamber in the phenomenon known locally as the Padrino system, or patronage politics, with other parties aligning themselves with the president's policies in exchange for pork barrel and future political favors. While the parties contesting the Senate election grouped themselves into two major electoral alliances Team PNOY and the United Nationalist Alliance, the constituent parties of those alliances separately contested the elections to the House of Representatives. However, as stated above, the parties will again coalesce once the 16th Congress of the Philippines convenes. District Changes Reapportioning, redistricting, the number of seats is either via national reapportionment after the release of every census, or via piecemeal redistricting for every province or city. 
National reapportionment has not happened since the 1987 constitution took effect, and aside from piecemeal redistricting, the apportionment was based on the ordinance from the constitution, which was in turn based from the 1980 census. These are the following laws pertaining to redistricting that were passed by Congress. While a locality that has a minimum of 250,000 people is constitutionally entitled to one district representative, Congress should enact a law in order for it to take effect. The creation of new districts may be politically motivated, in order to prevent political allies, or even opponents, from contesting one seat. Bukidnon, Cotabato, Palawan and Quezon City received additional representatives in the upcoming Congress. The number of new legislative districts may also increase the seats allocated for party list representatives. For every five new legislative districts, one seat for a party list representative is also created. Marginal seats These are seats where the winning margin was 3% or less. Politicians may choose to run under a different political party as compared to 2010. This excludes districts where the nearest losing candidate or that candidate's party is not contesting the election, or districts that were redistricted. Retiring and term limited incumbents These are the incumbents who are not running for a seat in the House of Representatives, and are not term limited. Defeated incumbents Open seat gains Asterisk Kaka Bagao is a party list representative for Akbayan who ran in Dinagat Islands District under the Liberal Party and won. Results District elections Only the Liberal Party can win the election outright by placing candidates in a majority of seats. With 292 seats, including seats reserved for sectoral representatives, 147 seats are needed for a majority, and only the Liberal Party is contesting more than 150 seats. The Liberal Party did win a near majority of the district seats. They are expected to form a coalition with other Team PNOY component parties, other parties, most independents, and most party list representatives for a large working majority. LACA's CMD is expected to form the minority bloc anew, while the United Nationalist Alliance and left-leaning representatives may join either bloc. A total of six independents won, one less than in 2010. The vote totals below were collected from the results displayed from the COMELEC's transparency server. These are partial and unofficial. The seats won are the ones which had been officially proclaimed by the COMELEC. Party list election The Commission on Elections was supposed to release results for the party list election along with the results for the Senate election, however, the Commission suspended the release of results after questions of whether to include votes for the 12 disqualified parties, although not with finality, were to be included or not. Canvassing of results for the party list election resumed on May 19 after the 12 senators-elect were already proclaimed, with the commission meeting to determine on what to do with the votes of the 12 disqualified parties. On May 22, the commission announced that they will proclaim the winning parties, but not the number of seats. Asterisk two seats still to be decided, while the Senior Citizens Party list has been approved its registration, its nominees had not yet been proclaimed due to an ongoing dispute on two sets of nominees. Details Seat totals Aftermath Preliminary results states that President Aquino S. allies winning an overwhelming majority of seats in the House of Representatives. This makes Aquino the only president enjoy majorities in both houses of Congress since the People Power Revolution of 1986. This is seen as an endorsement of the voters of Aquino's reformist agenda, although several key wins elsewhere by the United Nationalist Alliance and its allies would mean that Aquino 
S. chosen successor may face a significant challenge in the 2016 presidential election. Speaker Feliciano Belmonte Jr. is seen to keep his speakership position with the Liberals winning at least 100 out of the 234 district seats. Majority leader Neptali Gonzalez too said that a great majority of incumbents are poised to successfully defend their seats, and that the Liberal Party are to be the single largest party in the lower house. The Nationalista Party has at least 15 winning representatives, a substantial number of the 40 incumbents Nationalist People's coalition are to hold their seats, and the 34-member National Unity Party House leader Rodolfo Antonino expects Belmonte to be re-elected as Speaker. The United Nationalist Alliance won three seats in Metro Manila, and at least two more seats outside the metropolis. Election for the Speakership 15th Congress Speaker Feliciano Belmonte Jr. easily won re-election for the speakership. The race for minority leader, usually given to the person finishing second in the speakership race, was narrowly won by Rinaldo Zamora over Ferdinand Martin Romaldez. There was one abstention, from Toby Tianco, who wanted to be an independent. Belmonte also abstained from voting, while Romaldez and Zamora voted for themselves, if Belmonte only had one opponent he would. They voted for his opponent, and his opponent would. They voted for him, as seen in the 15th Congress speakership election. Since there were more than two nominees, the traditional courtesy votes did not push through. References